That's it. Okay, that's nice. That's not just nice, that's exceptional. There's literally no other programming language that I know of that has yeah. managed to boil away the line noise that almost every other programming language would inject into a five-time iteration over a block of code wow. to that extent. In it, it's short of type. It's only five characters. Initialize is a lot longer, but it looks a lot better. And you don't type it very often, so you should look at something pretty. If you don't have to do it all the time, it's okay that it's long. Those kinds of aesthetic evaluations are rife all over the Ruby language. You can have your statement you want to execute before the conditional. You can do user.upgrade, say you're calling an upgrade method on a user, space if, space user.admin question mark. We do the thing if the thing is true. Instead of saying if the thing is true, do the thing. But it gets even better. That's what Matt's thought about because he started his entire mission off a different premise than almost every programming language designer that I'd heard at least articulate their vision, that his number one goal was programmer happiness, that his number one goal was the affordances that would allow programmers to articulate code in ways that not just executed correctly, but were a joy to write and were a joy to read. And that vision is based on a fundamentally different view of humanity. There's no greater contrast between Matt's and James Gosselin, the designer of Java. I once listened to James talk about the design of Java. Why was it the way it was? Why was it so rigid? And he was very blunt about it, which, I, by the way, I really appreciate. And I think Gosselin's done a tremendous job with Java. But his view of humanity is rather dark. 